The F1 Academy has recently opened its doors in various locations across the globe, spanning from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, to the vibrant cityscape of Miami, United States, and the historic circuits of Barcelona, Spain. This academy is generating excitement among fans and aspiring racers alike. But wait, how does it all work? How is this academy redefining the future of Formula One, and why is it being hailed as a game changer in the industry? Well, let's answer all of your questions. Hello and welcome to another video from World of Racing. For those who don't know what this F1 Academy is we're talking about, well, it's a female-only single-seater racing championship that was founded by Formula One. Yup, it's only for the female drivers. And before you start commenting down, why isn't there an F1 Academy for boys? Well, let's say the world of F1 has been dominated by men for a long time. The F1 Academy is all about leveling the playing field and giving young female drivers the same opportunities to shine. So boys don't feel left out. This is about making the world of Formula 1 more diverse and inclusive. Interestingly, the F1 Academy is a spec series. It means that all teams compete with an identical Tatus F4 T421 chassis. And the cars in the F1 Academy are equipped with tyre compounds developed by Pirelli. That's right, the same Pirelli that supplies tyres for the big leagues of Formula 1. If we talk about the engine, each car is powered by a 165 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine developed by Auto Technica. So these young drivers are getting a taste of the real deal, more like a sneak peek into what it's like to race in the top tier of motorsport. Ok, we've got this cool academy for young female drivers, but what's the end game here? Well, the aim here is very simple, providing a platform for young female drivers to hone their skills and make their mark in a career in motorsport. Think about it, motorsport is a tough world and it's even tougher for women. They often don't have the same amount of experience as their male counterparts at the same age. The F1 Academy is here to change that. It's here to level the playing field and give these young women the experience they need to compete with the best of the best. Apart from just driving, the F1 Academy is also about helping these drivers develop the crucial technical, physical and mental preparations needed to advance in their careers. It's like the Hogwarts for future F1 drivers where they learn the magic of racing. Now we know what the F1 Academy is all about. But who are the people driving this initiative? Who are the stars of the show? Drivers and teams? Let's meet them. Firstly, we've got Susie Wolf. If you're an F1 fan, that name should ring a bell. Susie is a former racing driver herself, and she was appointed the managing director for the series. You can say she's the one calling the shots, making the big decisions, and ensuring that the F1 Academy stays on track. And with her experience and passion for motorsport, you can bet she's doing a stellar job. Now, there are five teams currently participating in F1 Academy. Arts Grand Prix, Campos Racing, Rodin Carlin, MP Motorsport and Prema Racing. For the 2024 season, all 10 F1 teams are set to support a minimum of one driver each from these five teams. Art Grand Prix is a big deal in the junior racing scene. They've nurtured talent from Lewis Hamilton to Charles Leclerc. And who's rocking the track for them in the F1 Academy? Well, it's none other than Bianca Bustamante, supported by McLaren, Aurelia Nobles, supported by Puma and Leah Block, supported by Williams. These ladies are tearing up the tarmac and making a name for themselves in the racing world. Next on the grid is Campos Racing. Founded by the late Adrian Campos, this team has been a constant presence in junior formerly since the late 1990s. They even had Fernando Alonso in their ranks during his single-seater education. But who's flying the flag for Campos in the F1 Academy? It's Chloe Chambers, supported by Haas, Harry Schreiner, supported by Kick Sauber, and Nerea Marti, supported by Tommy Hilfiger. The third team is Rodin Carlin. They've helped launch the careers of numerous world champions and no fewer than seven of the drivers on last season's F1 grid. Jessica Edgar is the one representing them in the F1 Academy, including Lola Lovinfossi, supported by Charlotte Tilbury, and Abby Pulling, supported by Alpine. The fourth team, MP Motorsport, is the current F2 Championship winning team. They helped Felipe Drogovic to his title. And who's burning rubber for the MP Motorsport in the F1 Academy? It's Emily de Hoys and Hamda al Kubesi, both of them supported by Red Bull. Yeah, big names. Amna al Kubesi, supported by Visa Cash App RB, is also representing MP Motorsport. These drivers are showing that they've got the talent and the drive to compete with the best and at the highest level. Lastly, Prema Racing. 
Well, this team has been the go-to team for the Ferrari Driver Academy in recent history. They took Victor Martins to the F3 Drivers' Championship this season. But who's behind the wheel for Prema in this F1 Academy? It's Tina Hausman, supported by Aston Martin, Dorian Pinn, supported by Mercedes, and Maya Wug, supported by Ferrari themselves. You can follow the journey of all these five teams and their drivers on Instagram, where they've already gained a significant following. Now, of course, we can't talk about the F1 Academy without mentioning some of its success stories, right? Its inaugural season in 2023 was won by Marta Garcia from Spain, driving for Prema Racing. She's a shining example of what the F1 Academy can do for young drivers. And guess what? Marta's success didn't stop there. Right after a championship win, she landed a fully paid-for drive in the 2024 Formula Renault Euro Cup by Alpine. Now that's what we call a victory lap. Apart from the victories, there have been some interesting journeys as well, and we think they're worth talking about. Dorian Pin made the switch from endurance to open wheel racing and set her sights on the 2024 F1 Academy title. There's Leah Block, who made the transition from off-road racing to the F1 Academy. And what about Carrie Schreiner? In a recent interview, she shared that she's very excited and aims to continue her growth throughout her second season. These are just a few examples of drivers showing that with hard work, determination, and a little bit of grit, you can achieve your dreams. Of course, the road to success is never smooth, and the F1 Academy has had to navigate some serious challenges. Firstly, with the pandemic in 2020, the planned season had to be cancelled. After the 2022 season, the series faced financial issues and was liquidated as no sponsorship appeared. While some fans are thrilled about the opportunities it presents for young female drivers, others have been straightforward, expressing concerns about the lack of media coverage and public viewing opportunities. If that wasn't enough, there was controversy too. The FIA launched an investigation into a potential conflict of interest involving Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff and his wife Susie Wolff, who is the managing director of the F1 Academy. However, the latest update is that the allegations were denied by Mercedes and F1, and the FIA ended its compliance inquiry. This incident stirred up quite a storm in the motorsport world. And that's a wrap. F1 Academy is a platform for young female drivers to learn, grow, and ultimately make their mark in the world of Formula 1. So, what do you think about this academy? Who are your favourite drivers? Any predictions for the next season? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, why not like it, share it with your friends, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next videos. And as always, thank you for watching and happy racing.